All right, today we are working on powers and exponents. If you have the Glenn Close series, we are in Lesson 1 of Book 2, page 433. We're going to start off talking about what an exponent is. Product of like factors can be written in exponential form using an exponent and its base. So our objectives today is we're going to figure out what these exponents are. We're going to be able to write them and solve them. So we have a couple definitions here. We have the base, and that is your base number that's used to, as a factor, and the exponent that tells how many times it's used as a factor. So in this first square, we have factors. These are your factors, okay? This is your base, and this is your exponent. Okay, your factors are just what you're going to multiply. A lot of the misconception with this is that when you see 10 to the second power, that exponent, you want to say 10 times 2, and you want to make it 20, and it's not. It's 10 times 10. That 2 just tells you how many times to multiply that base number by itself. How many times do you factor it? So it shows you that 10 to the second power is 10 times 10. So it says, give an example of that. Um, you could... Um, you, you could do anything. You could write, uh, let's see, we could do 4 to the second power. Uh, we could do uh, 8 to the third power. Okay? Now, if you did 4 to the second power, it would be 4 times 4, because that 2 tells you how many times to write 4 times 4. Okay? And if you want to do 8 to the third power, you would do 8 times 8 times 8. Okay? So over here, I'm going to write 8 times 8 times 8. Not 8 times 3, 8 times 8 times 8. Okay, I'll move that down for a second in case you need it. So, exponents are not hard to do. What makes it difficult is remembering not to do just your basic 8 times or 10 times 2, but to remember that it's 10 times 10. So the definition of exponent in your own words, what would you say it is? I would just say, if it was me, I would say something like um, a small number that, let's see, that tells you, sorry, that's a horrible tells, how many times. How many times I'm going to put to multiply a number by itself? Okay? You can write whatever you want, but it's basically that small little number that tells you how many times to multiply a number by itself. So the next problem down, it says MP3 players come in different storage sizes such as 2 gigabytes, 4 gigabytes, 16, where gigabyte means, where GB means gigabyte. 1 gigabyte is equal to 10 times 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 10 bytes. Write this number as if it was, what is this number written with exponents? So you're going to first, your base number is obviously going to be 10 because that's what's repeated over and over again. Then just count how many times you have 10 written here. So you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So it's 10 to the 9th power. That's how you would write that as an exponent. 10 to the 9th power. You just got to count how many times that number is there. All right, looking at our mathematical practices right now, honestly, we haven't gotten into very much with those mathematical practices. Um, we could say that we're making use of structure and that we're using mathematical tools maybe using repeated reasoning. Haven't gotten real deep into this yet, so there's not a whole lot there you're going to be able to do. You'll be able to do more as we move on and practice more of this. All right, so I mentioned the word powers before. We're on the next page. Numbers um, expressed during exponents are called powers. For example, 100 is a power of 10 because it can be written as 10 to the second. Numbers like 100 are perfect squares because they are squares of whole numbers. 
So your perfect squares are things like um, like uh, 25, because 5 times 5 is 25. Uh, 36. 6 times 6 is 36. So then it talks about perfect cubes are number with three identical whole number factors, such as 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. So 64 is actually a perfect cube. So if you can multiply the same number by itself, let's see, when we do area, like we're figuring out um, how much it's, like if this was a room and we were figuring out how much it would take to carpet it, if it's not the same, like if it's an 8 by 10 room and you had to take 8 times 10 to figure out the area, it's still a squared number, it's just not a perfect squared number. Perfect squared number is exactly the same number times the same number. So if you had a 10 by 10 room, that's a perfect square. If you had a cube, like the Rubik's cubes are a perfect cube because they are exactly the same size all the way around. This one is 10 by 10 by 10, it's 1,000, so 1,000 is a perfect cube number, okay? They want us to practice writing these exponents. Now, this one's already done for you. Again, all they did, obviously the one that repeats is your base number, and then you count one, two, three, four, how many times it's written, that's your exponent, okay? So this one, four times four times four, your factor, four is gonna be your base, and it's multiplied how many times? Three. So your exponent is three. So four times four times four can be written as four to the third power, which is four the exponent of three. Okay, all you have to do is figure out what repeats and how many times it repeats and write it down. So here's another one. You got seven times seven times seven times seven. What's well, gonna be your base? Obviously the number that's repeated, so it's gonna be seven. How many times is it repeated? One, two, three, four. Seven to the fourth power. Next one, you got nine times nine times nine times nine times nine times nine times nine. So it's gonna be nine, obviously. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nine to the seventh power. Okay, this step of it's pretty easy. It's a multiplication side of exponents that gets a little difficult. So this one, figure out which one's repeating. And then for the second half of it, just write down how many times it's repeated. Okay, when we talk about writing powers as products, we have to determine the base and the exponent. The base of 10 to the second power of 10 is a base and exponent is a 2. And then the power of 10, 2 is read as 10 squared. The power of 10, 3 is read as 10 cubed. So they want us to write 10 squared as a product of the same factor and find the value. So what they want you to write is 5 times 5, and then they want you to solve it, which they did for you, and they got 25. Okay, same thing with number 4. They want you to write that 1.5 cubed as a product of the same factor and then find the value. So they want you to write out 1.5 times 1.5 times 1.5 and you'd have to multiply it. And don't multiply 1.5 times 3. You have to put, multiply 1.5 times 1.5 and then that answer times 1.5 and that would get you the 3.375. Okay, then they show it to you in a fraction as well. One half cubed, which is written as one half times one half times one half. So you would do one times one, which is one, times one, which is one, and then two times two is four, and four times two is eight. Okay? So down below they ask us to write each product as the same factor and find the value. So for ten to the fifth power, you're going to write five times five times five times five, one, two, three, four, times five. Write it five times. So you have five written five times. Then five times five is 25. 25 times five is 125. Then 125, I'm gonna do that down here, 125 times five. You can multiply any way you want to. So if you need to do lattice or box or, what's the other one? Lattice, box, column, method. You can do whatever way you want to. 12, 
625, so this one is 625 times 5 again. So 625 times 5. So your final answer is going to be 3125. <coughs> Oh, I just did all that wrong. I'm such a ditz.